How you doing? Steve here from Digital DJ Tips and Scratching for Controller DJs. And in this video, I'm very excited to be getting my hands on the Pioneer XDJ 1000 multiplayer. It says multiplayer, but there's one thing missing on these and that's the CD slot at the front. Really caused a real stir uh, with the launch of these players. And there's gonna be a full uh, review of these players and also talk through videos with my buddy Phil on the main Digital DJ Tips website and also on the YouTube channel to come. But here today we're to look specifically at what these are like for scratching, what you need to do just to make sure that they're set up properly for scratching and also I'm going to let you know about how my how I feel about them and my kind of demo I'm going to show you as well just so you can get a feel for yourself. Well they're really really cool players and like I said I'm not going to go into too much detail on them because we're going to cover it in other videos but um, the most notable thing about these is the touch screen. 7 inch touch screen, really cool, uh, works really well. Um, I haven't had to use it in any kind of um, club situations or anything like that yet, so not sure how it copes with uh, moisture or anything like that, but with Pioneer being experts and you know industry standard club gear, I'm sure they've um, thought of that. So um, yeah, the touch screen is really cool, great for access of the cue points, really quick access of the cue points, especially if you want to jump around between your scratches. And the only real things you need to look out for on the player itself um, if you want to scratch is first of all having it in vinyl mode uh, obviously that means that when you touch the platter here it's going to grab the sound and you're able to scratch with it and what's scratching like on one of these well very very similar to CDJ 2000s or any other players in the CDJ series and in fact very similar to a lot of Pioneer's um, controllers um, but they have a kind of these platters have a kind of clunky kind of mechanical Bit, bit noisy feel. If you're doing a practice session um, in your bedroom and you're having to have the, the volume quite low, you, you're probably making more noise by actually this sound going on here than you are actually of what's coming out the speakers. But that's always been the way with Pioneer and it's just a kind of touch and feel thing that you need to get used to and it's very easy to get used to it. The most important thing is, is that they're very precise um, very reactive as soon as you touch them once you've got your sensitivity set to how you like it as soon as you touch them you're grabbing the, the sound you're fully in control and um, I found them to be really good fun for scratching and especially for little bits of beat juggling and beat building and I'll do a little bit of that in um, in the demo for you as well so so yeah so no complaints really and I've been using um, in the demo I've been using them just uh, playing tracks off of uh, USB um, haven't managed to do a demo yet um, getting it hooked up with uh, Serato but uh, we'll do at some point. But yeah, really cool for scratching on. And um, let's have a look at a, a, little, a little demo just so you can, you can be sure yourself that you can do some scratches on these players. Make a clap to this. So there you have it, as far as I'm concerned, no complaints about the XDJ1000 from Pioneer from a, from a scratching point of view. Um, they've definitely lost none of the um, uh, scratching sensitivity and tightness that their other players like the CDJ2000s have got. And um, as I said, there's going to be a full review of these players for all of their features for DJing uh, on the Digital DJ Tips website. Um, you can find that, but I just wanted to concentrate on scratching today. And if you want to get your hands on some free scratch sounds and some free uh, training to help you get started in scratching with digital gear, if that interests you, there's a link below this, uh, djtips.co slash scratch and you can get your free sounds there and your free training PDF. And also if you're not a member of Digital DJ Tips, 
uh, why don't you join us? We, get, we send out weekly emails with loads of cool articles, all the best stuff about digital DJing from the web, and you'll be the first to hear about new videos and new reviews and new products as we hear about them. So there's a link for that also underneath this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for being here.